By the time Canadian passengers left the Diamond Princess tonight, they'd renamed it the Floating Jailhouse. A cruise ship under quarantine, they were eager to leave. Some paced the decks one last time. It's really bad. Alan and Diana Chow stayed in their cabin, as they have for two weeks, talking to me by video. Feeling right now is good, so at least we can get out of this place in one piece. Alive. We lost sleep, stressed out. Many chronicled their exit on social media. The last minute checkup by Canadian medics. The walk out they'd been denied. And we walked down this tunnel and this is the way out to the buses. Delays at the buses as things got organized. Then the half hour drive to Tokyo's Haneda Airport for all those passengers who tested negative for the coronavirus. No fever, no symptoms. Canadians who have the disease were left behind, including retired teacher Craig Lee. His bus took him to hospital eight hours away where he will be treated until the virus no longer shows in his blood. Almost 50 Canadians remain in Japan with similar infections. Indeed, the Diamond Princess saw an explosion of disease, going from one to more than 600 cases in two weeks. And now it includes two deaths, as the ship became a breeding ground for COVID-19. Experts blame the Japanese government for lax disease control on board. But today, the health minister said everything is appropriate. That was not how the rescued Canadians felt as they finally flew out on a jet chartered by Ottawa in the early hours of the morning. And so, Sasha, can you give us a sense of what those returning Canadians are flying into? Well, Adrian, there's obviously an enormous sense of relief on that flight. After all, they've, in leaving this ship, they've actually left the largest single cluster of coronavirus anywhere outside mainland China. But they've also started a whole new odyssey and a whole new ordeal. They've got two more weeks of quarantine in Cornwall, Ontario, with little contact with friends or family and a whole bunch of medical exams and tests to prove that there are really no health threat in Canada. Adrian? All right, it's not over yet. Sasha, thanks for this. My pleasure.